Hey guys, it's Jezza back today, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what kind of balancing changes I would love to see in the game. And just kind of talk about the previous update that Supercell did, what was good about it, what could probably use a little bit of work, and what I'd like to see in the next update. And you guys can leave your feedback in the comments. Let me know if you agree, you disagree, you don't care, whatever. So, first of all, I'll start from top down. We'll start with Town Hall 11. And just want to say, first of all, I think that Supercell overall has done a really good job with Town Hall 11. I think it is the best balance that they've ever had at the Town Hall. At the, when, when there was minors and stuff, when they were overpowered, it was too strong. Uh, the, the, I hate to use the word meta, but the meta before the one that, that we're in now, it was just impossible to three star at Town Hall 11. It, it was like seeing a unicorn or something for you to be able to three star at Town Hall 11. And that's just a little bit too tough. It should be incredibly hard, but it should not be impossible. So now I've seen a couple of attacks that were La Loon attacks. I've seen some a couple of bitch attacks with the bowlers and witches. I've seen Mass Bowler get three stars on the right base. Again, it's super hard. It's not easy, and it shouldn't be easy. But it is doable, and I feel like they really did a good job balancing that out with the last update and making that, giving the extra hero levels. I like the extra wall pieces and that they only gave 50 of them. I thought that was a nice touch that they put in there instead of just giving you a whole nother level, set of level, another set of walls with a different level. I need to learn how to talk. So anyway... I really like Town Hall 11. I don't really know what they could do at Town Hall 11 with the next update that's really needed. I don't really think anything else is needed currently at Town Hall 11. I'm sure they'll come out with something anyway because it's the in-game Town Hall. And so you want to always add some stuff up at the top. Be cool to see a new troop of some sort. But short of that, I think they've done a really good job with Town Hall 11. So having said that, I'll move on to my thoughts on Town Hall 10. Um, Town Hall 10, I was really scared when, when the last update came out. I did a video talking about we'll have to see how loons work out, if it's enough to make Town Hall 10 vi on 10 on 10 three stars viable. Well, no surprise to those of you who are watching this video, it is very viable. Town Hall 10 on 10 three stars are there, and they're there to stay, providing Supercell does not nerf the loons, which they have a tendency to do. Something works, then they decide that, well, this works too good, let's, let's nerf, buff, nerf, buff. I don't like that at all. I think Town Hall 10 is in good balance air-wise. I think it should stay like it is. What I would like to see in the next update is something done to a ground troop or two, maybe a new troop, who knows, but something done to maybe give Town Hall 10 level 7 hogs like they gave to Town Hall 11, which Town Hall 11 does not use them. They, t I do not... Recall the last time I saw a Town Hall 11 use hogs in a non-dip raid. Just can't think of it. Unless they used like one hog to pull the clan castle, which you could have done with level 6 hogs. So really no, no need to have another level hog for that Town Hall level. However, I do believe Town Hall 10s have used it in the past and would use it now. I know they've used it in the past and I believe they would use it now if it made that big of a difference. So that's one thing I'd like to see. I really, have, I'm always for a new level heal, healer, but I know that that's pretty much not going to happen. Anushka from Supercell, as much as said that to me on Twitter, that I'm dreaming if I think I'm going to get a town, a new level healer. So I want to keep my, you know, dream manageably, you know, don't dream responsibly. You know, I don't want to get my, I don't want to dream that I'm going to be the president of the United States when really I just might be a state senator. So 
The other thing that I think Town Hall 10 could use potentially is a change on the way that the Inferno Towers work to where a couple of troops maybe don't do as much get as much take as much damage from the inferno towers or you can heal halfway through them or something like that could be an interesting change to it however three stars are viable you just have to be an air person uh, it would be very cool if we got to the place where you don't you, you can be air, you can use multiple troops there's always going to be a troop or two that are are kind of the main troops the go-to troops for that town hall level, but it would be very, very neat if you could use more comp more compositions than just variations on La Loon to get the three star. So that would be that would be a really neat change. Now, Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9 to me is the most out of balance of the town halls that that you see competitive war in. Town Hall 10, 11, and uh, Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9, air is just too strong, period. It needs to be balanced out. And I think the only way to do that without hurting it at Town Hall 10, because I think it's in pretty good balance at Town Hall 10, the only way to do this would be to give to give another level of some sort of defense. So what I think is we have at Town Hall 9, you have the level, what level are they? I don't know, but the, give another level of Archer Towers because you get two levels at Town Hall 10. But I think another level of Archer Tower would make it to where loons were not just completely, completely overpowering to town hall to town hall nine so i think that would be a nice solution where it doesn't affect the balance at town hall 10 so it's still viable la Luna is still good at 10 and it'd still be viable at town hall nine it would just take a little bit more and maybe people would look at the bases a little bit more and say oh well this base is really not a, a la Loon base this is a hog base right now people just look at it a lot of times, and they're like, okay, well, I might be able to hog this base, but I know Laloon is just really powerful, so I'm going to use Laloon, period, even if the base doesn't call for that. So I would like to see some sort of either, maybe the Wizard Towers get another level. That could do it as well, because that actually might be a better solution due to the fact that Wizard Towers are Loon's worst enemies. So that could be another, but like either Archer Towers or Wizard Towers Another level at Town Hall 9, I think, would be a great solution. But the best solution that I've heard came from Jorel's offspring. Last night, he was in the rated chat. He has his alternate over there, and he's actually joining us with his Town Hall 9 for a war against Cold Sept. And what his suggestion was, which I thought was just really a really great idea, was that Supercell give us an adjustable timer. And I thought this was brilliant, especially in friendly wars. I don't know if they want to do it in regular uh, farm wars or random matches. But in, in friendly wars, this would be really interesting to me if they gave a timer that you could change. So your normal time is three minutes for an attack. But... The clans could agree to set it to, say, 245. So what this would do is it's kind of like in the NBA or in ba basketball, how with the NBA, you have the three-point line is a little further back than what it is for, for the NCAA. So you have to shoot that three-pointer from a little bit further away. And I think that's an interesting idea. So maybe make it to where in the CWL matches, they could set it to where, okay, it's 245 or even 230. I'm, that, that's probably a little bit too, uh, too little time. But I'm just saying that it could be agreed upon by everyone and they could set at the beginning of the friendly war the timer on how long attacks at a certain town hall level sh can be. So that way... People that really like th 
things how they are at Town Hall 9. The lower level players, they probably don't want any of what I'm saying to happen. They don't want another level defense. They want to keep wrecking bases. But some of the higher level players are probably bored with the fact that it's a lot easier to three star at Town Hall 9. Um, so giving a timer, I feel like, would give the best of both worlds because it would let people play at their own level, kind of like in video games where you can play on God mode or you know regular mode or whatever. And I just think that is a really cool solution to where Supercell doesn't have to keep nerfing and buffing and nerfing and buffing and nerfing and buffing. They can let you pick the level that you want to play the game at. So those are my thoughts. Wanted to throw that out there. If you guys like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. But wanted to just kind of talk about what's going on in the game. Also, the Raided has started a sister clan. Uh, it's called The Wall. And we took it over from from Queen Mom over in Kozar Maniacs. It's, it's a leveled up clan to where you don't have to worry about the troop donation and all of that. But we're running out of room in The Raided. So we started that up. It's going to be a sister clan. We're going to move back and forth between the two clans. Wanted to build a stronger roster. So we are accepting applications for all town hall levels 9 through 11 town hall 9 requirements would be 20 20 town hall 10 would be 30 30 and town hall 11 it's kind of negotiable it just depends on what you got and everything but we're looking for more people want to get our roster bigger so that we can compete in bigger wars like for do 40 30 40 versus 40 instead of having to do 30 versus 30 and we'll have the right weights that we need to match people until next time thank you guys so much this video has been rated tested and jezza approved <laughs>